Hey there, awesome physics students. Let's talk about what you do when you have two waves traveling on in a medium, like a string, for example, and those two waves then meet each other. How do you combine those two waves? Or how does the string decide what shape it's supposed to take? Well, whenever you have two waves that are overlapping and you need to combine them, we say that the two waves are interfering, or that's wave interference. We use the principle of superposition to add the two waves, which tells us you add the waves point by point. So let's do an example. For these examples, uh, let's imagine that this is a string. So for this example, we have a blue wave pulse traveling to the right and a pink wave pulse traveling to the left on the string. Where these two wave pulses overlap, the string has to decide what shape to take. So let me just draw the outline of the two wave pulses here. Here's the blue wave pulse, it has a height of positive 2, and then there's the pink wave pulse, and it has a height of positive 2 also. And I want to draw these so they overlap. So we just add them point by point. So let's start at the edge here of the blue pulse. They're not really even overlapping, so um, I just put that, they're both 0, so 0 plus 0 is 0. Here, they're not really overlapping yet either. The blue wave pulse has a height of positive 1 at this point, so, and the pink wave pulse is not even there yet, so the value is positive 1. Here, they're starting to overlap. The blue wave pulse has a, a height of positive 2. The pink wave pulse has a height of 0. 0 plus 2 is 2. Now it's getting interesting. The blue wave pulse has a height of positive 1. The pink wave has has a height of positive 1. 1 plus 1 is positive 2, so the height of the wave decides to be positive 2. You just add them point by point. Here, the pink wave pulse is at a height of positive 2. The blue wave pulse is at a height of 0, so that 2 plus 0 is 2. And then here, the pink wave pulse is positive 1, and the blue wave pulse isn't even there. And then here, they're not even overlapping anymore. So the overall shape of the wave will be like this the solid line that I've drawn there. So that's how you combine these two, and this will be the shape of the string. Let's do another, uh, uh, let's ad advance these another frame to see them totally overlapping here. So again, the blue has a height of positive two, the pink has a height of positive two also, and in this frame, they're, they are totally overlapping. So how do we add those two? Well, uh, here they're not even overlapping, so this is 0 and 0 there. Here the pink has a height of 1, blue is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, so I go up here. Here they are, blue is 2, pink is 2, 2 plus 2 is 4, so the height is doubled from what it was before. Um, here blue is 1, pink is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, it's again doubled the height. And here they're not overlapping. So the overall shape of this, I just draw these lines together. I'm going to get something that looks like this. So that's the overall shape of the wave. Notice that in this case, the combined wave has a height that's larger than the other two individual waves. And in this case, we call this constructive interference. That is, whenever we get combine two waves and we get something larger than either of the two original waves. We call that constructive interference. All right, let's do another example. Here we have a blue wave traveling to the right, a pink wave that's upside down traveling to the left. So let's combine those two. Um, let's just draw an outline of the blue wave here. And again, it has a height of positive 2. The pink wave has a height of negative 1. So let me just draw these overlapping, barely. So here they're not really even overlapping. Here the height of the blue one is positive 1, but the pink one is not even there yet. Here they're beginning to overlap. Blue is positive 2, pink is 0, so the overall effect is positive 2. Here's where it get, gets very interesting. The blue has a height of positive 1, pink has a height of negative 1, positive 1 plus negative 1 is 0. So that passes through the middle point there. Um, here the height of the blue wave is 0, pink is positive, um, excuse me, negative 2. So the overall effect is negative 2 right there. Here the pink is negative 1, the blue is not even there. And then this is, they're not overlapping anymore. So the overall shape of the string or height of the wave is like this. And I just combine all those points like that. 
So that's my solid line is the combined wave of the two, or the, the product of the interference here. Okay, so let's advance them one more frame and let's draw them again so that they overlap. So the blue one has a height of positive one, uh, excuse me, positive two, and the pink one has a height of negative two, and they're totally overlapping, but in, an, in a complete upside down fashion. Um, the pink one is out of phase with the blue one. And so here the, they're not really overlapping yet. Here this is, blue is positive one, pink is negative one, you get zero. Blue is positive two, pink is negative two, you get zero. Positive two, excuse me, positive one is blue, pink is po negative one, so you get zero. And then here they're not overlapping anymore. Uh, so the effect here actually looks like it's to completely cancel each other out, or you get zero overall. The shape of the string is flat here. And we call this destructive interference. And this is the result. Destructive interference is when you have combined two waves, and the overall effect is smaller than either, than either of the instant two waves. And in this case, it's total destructive interference. And so it completely destroys any... The, uh, the effect of the wave here. So overall, you can combine two waves together. You can get constructive interference or destructive interference or some other complicated thing in between. But anytime you combine these two waves, you just have to add them point by point according to the principle of superposition. And in that case, we say the two waves are interfering.